What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice of Kurt Rice Baseball. How's everybody doing? This fine Thursday morning, it's going about 1 a.m. Um, today, uh, I'm gonna get right into it. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about how I, uh, my personal preference, how I clean, maintain, and condition uh, my ball gloves. Uh, when I relace gloves, uh, you know, stuff like that. But this is how I do it. This is going to be personal preference, okay? Because you have so many different videos out there, people telling you how to do it, like sticking them in the oven, uh, putting them in water, you know. Uh, well, that's to break in a glove, but but um, but just. There's, there's so many ways that people do to condition, to break in a glove, this and that. And today I'm just gonna go into um, how to maintain, how I condition, you know, and, uh, you know, and a, a, a baseball glove. This is how I do it. So uh, the first thing I do is, um, at the beginning of the season or at the, you know, at the end of the season, which I'm done now, I don't play no more. Um, I'm officially hanging it up. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, at the end of the season, what I do is um, uh, I get all my two or three catcher's mitts. I got three of them, one of them's in the bag. I, I brought the two new ones out because I barely used them because uh, I still have that one all-star in there. Um, but what I, what I do is, is first I clean it cause it is dirty. And what I use is just, I get me a uh, bowl of luke, lukewarm water. You don't want it like hot, 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 but kind of, kind of lukewarm water. And I started using a uh, soap, but now they have, um, I just tried this this year now they have Dawn, this Dawn Platinum Erasing Dish Foam. And it says 190 pumps and it's pretty cool. It's got the little lock on it. You know, you turn it and then you pump some out. But uh, you can get this at Walmart anywhere. But I started, uh, I put me some in a bowl. Dawn Dish Soap is as good as, as you can get. This is the best stuff, I think, for anything. If it can clean oil off animals, it can definitely clean dirt off a baseball glove. But anyway, what I do is, is I put uh, a couple pumps of this in there, and I use a little light toothbrush and just lightly brush it. You don't want to douse this in water and soak your glove because it'll soak it in, and it makes your glove heavy. Just a light coating, scrub all that dirt off, uh, stuff like that. So that's what I use. Toothbrush, uh, Dawn soap, and lukewarm water. And then after that, I let it set. I let the glove set under a fan or, you know, nothing blowing real, real hard. Maybe a ceiling fan or if you got a little um, floor fan, you know, you can set it in front of it uh, because uh, you want it to, you want it to dry pretty good. And um, like I say, you don't want to douse it in water. You don't want to soak it in water, and it's and it's heavy. So you just want to take your toothbrush, dip your, dip your toothbrush in the bowl and with a with a soap and water, and just uh, lightly coat it where the dirt's at. Just brush all your dirt off, and then um, take your rag, uh, wipe it off pretty well, and stuff like that. Sorry, I'm not I'm not gonna do a tutorial on like how to show you how to do it, but I will. Um, so, um, but anyway, uh, just a light coating of that all over the glove, wherever the dirt's at on your, um, on your logos as well. That'll work. Take a toothbrush, some lukewarm water and, um, the Dawn little dish soap, pump you a couple of sprays in it. And then those logos will come, come to life. Like your little all-star logo or, you know, whatever, uh, kind of glove you got. Okay, and then after that, um, then after that, I let it dry. I let it, I usually let it sit for an hour, hour and a half, uh, something like that. And then um, after that, um, if I see that it's dry, 
I will use a glove conditioner, okay? Um, there are so many glove conditioners, and I'm going to do a video here in the next probably 15, 20 minutes on that. Um, I have probably just about every glove conditioner out there. I've looked all of them up. There's another one I don't have, um, but it's on eBay. I think it's a, a different company. It's a it's a guy that's his own company, and I haven't purchased it. But the the main brands that are out there, I think I've purchased. And I'm going to show you in the next video how many different types of glove conditioners there really are out there. So um, anyway, I will condition it because you know it is it does get dry stuff like that so um what i i was i have been using um on my gloves was um what what was it called um shoot um oh, here it is it is the wilson pro stock glove conditioner it's got um contains linolin and vitamin e okay so there's that one now they make a Wilson Pro Stop Mink Oil Paste, okay? Now I would only recommend this on dark, uh, like dark colored gloves, not like a light colored glove, not like a um, All Star SBT, a small black tan, not, not on that type of tan. Like a dark brown or a black glove, this is the only thing you wanna use this on because this is gonna darken uh, the mink oil paste will darken the color of your glove. So if I were to put this on a new all-star mitt, which you shouldn't be putting it on in any way, um, it's going to darken the color. So I don't recommend this, but on dark brown gloves and black gloves. But anyway, this is what I've been using. Uh, I just take a light coat. You got to be really careful with this stuff. Don't use it heavy, heavy, because uh, you don't want a lot of of conditioner on your glove and of course it'll make it a little bit heavy uh sprays i don't use sprays period because that just that's just like uh throwing water on it so i don't use um like i said i don't use sprays at all period sprays are kind of um yesterday's news anyway but um that's what i've been using and everything that uh the the wilson glove conditioner i've use on has been uh it does it does the job pretty much now on a all-star mitt they want you i actually called them and they actually like um i believe it's um i can't remember um the name if you'll give me a second i will look it up and it's it's in one of my videos actually um where they sh they exactly told me what to use, but just give me just a second here, and I'm actually gonna sh tell you what um, they wanted me to use. Let's let me scroll through here, and I have it in here, and I'm sorry I wasn't prepared. It is a Skidmore's uh, original leather cream is what All Star um, likes you to use. Now that's after the warranty on your glove, okay? Uh, don't don't uh, start you know using it right when you get the All Star Mint and start using Skidmore's leather cream and then you know uh, something happens to it and you have to send it back and because it because it, it'll void the warranty. But anyway, that's that's what they recommend on the All Star Mint Skidmore's leather cream, and I don't have any of that. It's a it's not even a baseball conditioner. It's just a, a leather conditioner. But that's what they told me they recommended. Um, when I called them a couple months ago, I believe. So, um, but I condition it where I need it, where I think it's dry. Uh, so pretty much at the end of the season, I do it all over. So um, this year's All-Star Mints, like I said, I don't play anymore. So um, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm probably gonna try uh, different the different conditioners I got in just uh, a couple different areas and see how they work. But I think all conditioners pretty much work, you know, pretty much the same. So, um, okay, so I condition my glove. When you put the conditioner on, you, of course, I, I like to use a toothbrush. I take it, I have a, 
a toothbrush for my conditioners and I have a toothbrush just for um, scrubbing the dirt off my glove because I don't want dirt and you know I don't want um, soap and conditioner mixed all in one of my toothbrush so I just I have two separate toothbrushes for that uh, that's just the way I am um, and then uh, after that uh, after the conditioning part, like I said, I, I just spray a, a nice uh, um, single layer. I don't cake it on there. Nice single layer. I let it kind of set in for about 30, 45 minutes to an hour. And then you take a rag and just wipe off the access and let it soak. Uh, you know, it's after you let it soak, kind of soak into the leather and stuff like that. And then after that, how I how I maintain what I mean by maintaining is 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 you know keeping your glove looking good you know stuff like that because this will keep you from having to buy a, a glove every year three four hundred dollar glove because these gloves ain't cheap nowadays when I was younger you know I remember dad saying he got my first catcher's mitt and it was probably like twenty bucks twenty five dollars thirty bucks I think at the highest forty something like that I can't remember nowadays these gloves are 390 something dollars 400 dollar gloves now so um this will keep you uh relacing it relacing your gloves stuff like that i'd highly recommend you learning how to do that if not uh, i relace gloves but re relacing it and stuff because you, you know you already got the feel feel of it and you know your hands been in there thousands of times probably not that much but you know hundreds of times um and uh don't let nobody else use your glove because that is your glove because you don't want somebody that's got humongous fingers putting your glove in there and now the glove's stretched out and now it's all loose on your hand so don't let nobody else use your glove so um and uh of course after that I'll, like i said i wipe off the conditioner and then now after that I'm gonna show you on this glove because I got it wrapped up here. Uh, this is one of the all. This is I believe this is the All Star mint that they gave me when I officially hung it up. Um, what I got here is I got a the hot glove wrap. It's pretty cool. It, it's it's uh, got that little strap in there. So I really really like that. It comes with a great big looks looks like a big wiffle ball. Pretty much you stick it in your pocket, but um, basically what what you're trying not to do is don't stick it in a in your baseball bag and then let stuff sit on top of it and I'm gonna show you why is because it'll look like this this is an old um, glove here boom look how flat that glove is that, that is just flat as can be I found this out of my storage shed and that that right there is is really flappy See how flappy that is and really flat that is? This is what you don't want, okay? Because I've seen, honestly, I've seen people, you know, misplays like Bill Buckner. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember the uh, kids. Y'all don't remember. But I know parents probably about my age probably seen the story. Probably people older back in 1986, I believe it was. I think it was the Mets and the Boston Red Sox, and it was a, just a routine play. And apparently um, the ball veered to the left or to the right, I can't remember. But another uh, situation that came into play is his glove was flappy. His glove was so flappy, and then I think when he went to close it, 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 it just, it, it, you know, it just went by. It was so flappy. So this is what you do not want. You don't want your glove being that flat because that is just flat as all get out. That looked like somebody run over it by a car. So we don't want to do this to your gloves because when, when you do that, you miss plays, uh, you know, stuff like that. And now it's not formed correctly. So don't throw it in your bag and put a bunch of stuff all on top of it because this is what it, it's going to look like come spring or whenever. So don't do that to your glove. Okay, what I do 
I keep a glove, the hot glove wrap around it, and I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you exactly what um, I put in them to keep it to keep it somewhat formed. I keep two baseballs in there. Okay, this is what I use to keep my glove from going really, really flat. So I put two baseballs in there and then I'll wrap it in this uh, hot glove wrap and it works perfect. It doesn't, it doesn't make the glove uh, flat. It doesn't, um, you know, none of that stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's, that's what I do. And then come, um, you know, if there's a, a warm day, you know, a warm day during the fall or, you know, winter time, because here in Tennessee, the weather is just, it's up and down. It's still like 93, 94 degrees here. It's supposed to really cool up come Monday. But, you know, if I get a warm day here and there, I might pull my glove out and just take it and just throw the ball in it and stuff. I, I try not to throw during the off season just to save my arm, which I really don't have to worry about that now because I'm done playing. But um, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tutorial of how I maintain condition, you know, maintain condition and uh, keep my ball glove looking good. First step, uh, Dawn Soap. With a toothbrush, go light coating over it, get all your dirt off, logos, stuff like that, get them all clean. Uh, let it set for about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, that way, you know, uh, under a, uh, maybe a light fan, maybe, you know, if you want to. And then I wipe all that off and then I condition it with a toothbrush. Uh, you know, pretty much all the conditioners work out there now. Um, and I'm gonna go through a, short video of how many different types of conditioners there are. Um, put a light coating on the outside, inside of it, and the laces, please. The laces get just as dry as the glove does, so make sure you hit them laces too. And then I put two baseballs in there, and then uh, a rubber band, if you got a really thick rubber band, will work too. Um, but I use uh, the hot glove wrap. You can probably find it online in any sporting goods store. Um, I haven't seen them around here lately, but they do. Work. I've seen them in Academy Sports, and that's the ones that I use. I've got them on all my gloves, the hot glove wrap. Two baseballs inside to keep it from going flat. Don't let that glove go flat. So, But um, if anybody has any questions, any comments, leave them down below. This is Kurt Rice of Kurt Rice Baseball. Y'all have a blessed day.